Watchers, we live in Stavely and Cumbria. I'm Julia. I'm Tom. I'm Emma. And I'm William. And we're going to find out how weather changes here during the year. We're going to use the thermometer to measure the temperature every week. We're going to measure the wind speed with this, a thermometer. And we're going to see which way the wind's flowing from with this weather vane. And we're going to collect any rain that falls in this rain gauge to measure how much rain there is every week. And we're going to go out and about in Staveley to see how the seasons affect people, plants and animals. I'm Helen Young, a BBC weather forecaster, and I'm going to be helping the weather watchers find out more about the weather. Forecasters also have to do the same kind of measuring that the weather watchers will be doing, but all over the country. On the map here you can see a few of our weather stations, but we have many more than these, and they all send in weather information. Well, the weather watchers live in Staveley in the northwest of England, in an area called the Lake District, because it's got lots of lakes. It also has lots of hills and mountains. In Britain, we have certain kinds of weather at certain times of the year. These are called the seasons. The weather watchers are starting their measuring in April, and that means it's spring. But how can we be sure? What we've got to find out is how do we know when winter is changing into spring? The trees are covered in blossom. There are lots of new buds on the trees. Lots of spring flowers are coming out. One of the ways we know it's spring is all these wild daffodils start coming out. And also, this garlic starts growing. Oh, yuck. Oh. That's horrible. That is really smells. Let's go and take some measurements to see what's happening. This rain gauge has been here for the past week. We put it here to collect any rain that's fallen. Let's see how much water is in it. There's 15 millimetres. That's how much rain has fallen over the past week. Let's empty it out and put it back for another week. We put the thermometer in the shade so it measures the air temperature, not the heat of the sun. We push the marker up to the top of the red liquid, which we then read off the Celsius scale. And today it's 10, 11, 12 Celsius, that's 54 Fahrenheit. I'll quickly write it down. We're going to find out which way the wind is blowing. To do that, we have to find out which way north is using a compass. The red part of the needle always points north. And north is pointing that way. This is a weather vane. I'm going to line up north with the compass. This shows east, west and south. The wind then blows this arrow, which shows the direction of the wind. I wonder which way the wind is blowing today. It's blowing from the south. The wind feels quite light today, but this will tell us the actual speed the wind is blowing at. It's called an anemometer, and when we put it up, the wind blows through these cups. The faster the cups spin round, the higher up this goes. And we can tell on the scale in metres per second how fast the wind is going. Let's see what the wind speed is today. It's two metres per second. We put all our recordings onto the computer to make graphs and charts. 
We'll be keeping a record of the weather here each week until December. So we can see how the weather changes here over the seasons. It doesn't feel like spring yet. It's still too cold. I thought it's supposed to get warmer in spring. What's happening? Everybody says spring's late this year. What does that mean? Ask your weather forecaster. Well, although we have four seasons, the change from one season to another never happens on the same day each year. It depends on what the weather's like. Just when winter changes into spring depends on what the weather's like in winter. Some years we can get lots of cold nights during the winter and cloudy, cool days. So the ground takes longer to warm up. That's when we say spring's late this year. In spring, the sun climbs higher in the sky and the days get longer. We see more sun and it gradually gets warmer. There are other ways to find out if spring's here. Blossoms are starting to appear. Birds and walkers are returning and there are some other new arrivals. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Why do lambs come in spring? Yeah. Well, it's a normal time of year for them, mm. is the spring. You see, there's a barn now, and the grass is just starting to grow. Oh. All these lambs, they grow bigger with the grass. With plenty of grass to give the mothers plenty of milk. Mm. And you need plenty of milk to get your good, decent-sized lambs. Yeah. What happens if it's a cold spring? What, for the lambs, you yeah, mean? Lambs, cold, cold isn't too bad. They can cope with cold. It's when it's very windy and driving rain. That, that you have to be very careful then. Sometimes you have to fetch them inside um, and keep them warm. I love strawberries. We always go strawberry picking in the summer. But it all depends on the weather. It should be hot and sunny, but how can we be so sure? Right, I think that's enough strawberries now. Come on, let's go check our measurements and see how things have changed during the week. It's 20 Celsius today. It's much warmer now than it was in spring. Oh look, it's less than a millimetre. It hasn't rained much. Today, the wind's blowing from the west. The wind speed is three metres per second. Yesterday it was warm and sunny. But today, it's cool and cloudy. So how do we know it's summer? Let's look for other clues. The hedgerows are full of wild summer flowers, like this foxglove. Hillsides are covered in green trees and bushes now. This meadow is full of wild buttercups in summer. Perhaps the sun will come out soon. The weather changes a lot here, even in the summer. In summer, lots more people visit the Lake District. You see more people out and about. And lots more walkers and tourists come here at this time of year.
Why do we expect to have good weather during the summer? I wonder what summer is like in the city. It's busier there. There are lots more people, cars and buildings. I wonder how that affects the weather. Ask your weather forecaster. On a sunny summer's day in the city, brick and concrete buildings get warm in the sunshine. They store the heat. Then at night, when it's cooler, the buildings also cool down and they give off heat into the air. This is the main reason why the city is warmer than the countryside. Summer is the warmest season of all because the sun is at its highest in the sky and the days are longer. So we have light evenings. out with the sheep shearing. All the sheep are getting a haircut. They're all having their woolly fleeces shaved off. The shearers get through 600 sheep a day. It's hot and dirty work, so why does it have to be done in summer? Well, it gets very hot in the summer. You wouldn't like to have your winter coat on in the middle of summer. But also, at this time of year, it starts to fall off because the new wool has just start, has started to grow. And last year's growth, it separates and it starts dropping apart. <coughs> the lambs that you saw earlier this year will not, not be shown again till this time next year. They need that wool on them to keep them warm right through the cold winter. There we are. You take that one away. <laughs> In summer, these leaves are all green, but now they're brown and yellow and falling off the trees. Let's check the weather and see how it's changing. Gosh, there's a lot of water in the rain gauge. It's over 50 millimetres. The temperature is 8 Celsius today. The arrow is not moving today because the wind's not blowing. There's no wind today. The anemometer isn't moving. In autumn, the sun is lower in the sky than in the summer. The nights get longer, there's less sun. Everything starts to cool down. Quite often, the mornings and nights are foggy. After the warm summer sunshine, autumn fruits and crops are ready to harvest or collect in. So there's food for the winter. But what do sheep farmers in Cumbria do in autumn? The uh, grass has stopped growing. We're not getting as very much grass now for the sheep. Watch. Tricks. Tricks. Watch them. And these sheep here, they're going to go down to a, a lower farm. This, this, uh, this farm is very high up. And that farm, it'll be a lot warmer and the grass will keep growing all winter. And these sheep will do very well off it. And then you see how the wool's grown back on them since you saw them being sheared. Well, that wool there will keep them warm through the winter. Just like you wear it, putting your coat on now through winter, they've got their coat on already. Now, do you think you will give me a hand, please, to get them through the gate and they can go down to the trailer and off to the other farm? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Right, thank you. Come on, dog. It's December, 
and it's much colder than a few weeks ago. The countryside's looking all bare. Most things have stopped growing. I'm off to see my friends to do some measuring to see how autumn is changing into winter. Today the wind's blowing from the southwest. There's over 50 millimetres of water in the rain gauge. The wind speed is 3 metres per second. It's 9 Celsius today. Perhaps we'll get a white Christmas. Winter is the coldest time of the year because the sun is very low in the sky. This means the days are short and the air and ground have less time to get warm. There you go, Julia. You take that down now it's winter. What's happening at the sheep farm? What are all these poles for? I'm getting these posts down the side of the river here to stop the sheep getting up to eat the new fence when I get it planted. In about five years' time, we should have a good windbreak and the sheep can shelter behind that in winter. We've watched how the weather's changed from April to December across the seasons. Let's see what we found out. It was windiest in April. It was four metres per second. Over the year, the wind blew most from the southwest. It was hottest in August. In spring and summer, the weather got warmer, and in autumn and winter, the weather got cooler. The rainiest months in the year were October and November. The weather can change very quickly here in winter, especially up on the mountains. Last year we got snowed in for a week and I couldn't go to school. We won't be going out again today. It's only four o'clock, but it's getting dark. That's winter for you.